In this video, we're going to learn how to do retrieval augmented generation with user provided metadata. So I've collected a bunch of articles from the BBC and I've put them in a file. So let's have a look at them. So we're gonna use the JSON lines library to, to read the file. And we're just gonna print out the first row. And so you can see here, it's got the URL, it's got the title, then taken each of the sentences. And I've got those as an entry in an array body. And then you can see we've got a few other bits of metadata as well. So we've got the tags and we've got the author. We're now gonna learn how to store embeddings for each of the chunks of text in those documents in the quadrant database. So let's just create some lang chain documents. So we'll iterate over that document's JSON file and then over each of the items in the body. And we're gonna create a document for each one. Uh, and the page content is gonna be that particular line or that paragraph. And then we'll have a bunch of metadata, including the URL, the tags, the time, the article was written, the title, and then the authors. And so then we can have a look and you can see we've got just over 1200 different documents. And then this particular, the first one we can see is men mentions an article about which has John Grisham. We've got the URL in there. It's written by Emma Saunders. And then you can see the title of the article as well. Now we're going to initialize our embedding model. So we're gonna be using fast embed, which is also uh, comes from quadrant. And then we're gonna initialize our quadrant store. We'll pass in the documents the, and the embeddings. Now this is gonna take a while. So remember, it's gotta go over 1200 documents. So I'm gonna speed this up a bit because it takes about a minute and a half and that's probably a bit too long to be waiting around. So we're gonna, with the magic of video, that's now done. So what, we now, what we're gonna do now is query the vector store. So we're gonna use the similarity search with score function. We're gonna pass in a query, so AI and authors, and we'll just tell it, just give me one document back. And so you can see it comes back with this document uh, and it says it's from an article titled Pass AI Law Soon or Risk Falling Behind and the particular part it's pulled out. But to pull off this feat, AI is trained on huge amounts of copyrighted material. So that, that's, that's if it just searches across everything, but we can also pass in the a filter parameter. So for example, we could say, I want you to use that same query, but this time only in articles where Emma Saunders is the author. So remember that was the first article that we had that we saw further up. And so if we run it this time. Now it's actually talking about something completely different. So this is about open AI and respecting the rights of authors. A quadrant also has an even more sophisticated syntax for doing filtering other than passing in those dictionaries. So we can use this filter class. And so what we can do is we can say that the filter must have a condition. So we could say in this case, metadata authors must be Emma Saunders. And then it's going to come back. It's going to be the same answer. And actually the first type, the dictionary based filtering gets translated into this second API for us. Let's now have a look at how we can use this metadata filtering when we're querying with an LLM. So we're going to use a llama and the mixtral model. So let's initialize that. And then we're gonna create ourselves a prompt. So we're gonna say you are a bot that answers questions using the context. We're gonna give pass in the context and then we'll have a question. Then we'll initialize our prompt. We'll initialize what we call, what they call a retriever in Langchain. And we're gonna pass in, notice there we've got to pass in that filter and then we'll uh, initialize a retrieval chain. And so now we can use that function um, to ask a question. So we can say, what, tell me what was said about AI safety and copyright. And it will come back and it says, it discusses two main topics, concerns about AI safety and the use of copyrighted material. And it sort of goes on to give us a bit more detail as well. We can then have a look at the context, so i.e. the articles that it used to answer the question. And you can see it comes back here. There's one about the AI law. There's one about Rishi Sunak's summit. And you can see there are some, there's another one where uh, Yoshua Bengio uh, is, is talking about AI. We can then use that same approach we did before. So again, we're gonna do the filter that is the Emma Saunders articles, and then we'll ask the same question. And this time it obviously comes back with a different answer. So it says OpenAI has stated that they respect the rights of authors and believe they should benefit from AI. And then it's got a bunch of other information as well. And again, if we have a look at the underlying articles, you can see this time it's only pulling it from just the one the one article actually, so there's only one article on, on AI on my set of documents that had Emma Saunders as the author. So you might be wondering, so where does this metadata come from? So we've just been providing it kind of manually uh, in the code. Um, so in this particular approach, the idea would be that the data is being selected maybe on a UI by the user. So let's have a look at how we would do that with a little 
app using Gradio. So we're going to create ourselves a function that's going to respond to some input from, input from the user. So we're going to have the user pass in a text, i.e. like some sort of question, and then a tag. And then if we come down a bit, we're going to get all the tags from our documents. We'll put those into a set, and then we're going to build ourselves an interface that has the function to respond to anything that you that the user types. We'll pass in that, we'll have our text box, and then we'll have the drop down of tags, and then the output is going to be back on the screen. And so now we can go into that little drop down. We'll pick Bletchley as our tag, say. We'll type in the text is Rishi Sunak and Elon Musk, and then we'll ask it to answer the question. And so it kind of comes back and it goes, uh, Rishi Sunak and uh, sort of talks about a meeting that they had and Rishi Sunak was optimistic about the benefits of AI. Elon Musk was saying, oh, maybe this is going to replace human jobs. And then it sort of talks about the conversation that they had. So this was from a summit that they did. I think it was in November 2023. Uh, so hopefully this has given you an idea of how you can sort of use uh, metadata to enhance the answers that you get from your retrieval augmented generation applications. If you liked this video, you might also like this one up here uh, where I did uh, an introduction to retrieval augmented generation.